Hi, um, in this video we're going to have a look at finding the equation uh, of a plane in the form r dot n is equal to d where r is a general point on the plane, n is a normal um, or a vector that's normal to the plane and d is a scalar quantity that's going to be constant for a particular plane and a particular normal. Uh, and we're also going to later on have a look at how we can use this to find the Cartesian equation of a plane. So that's the equation in terms of x, y and z. So we'll start off by looking at the f um, form r dot n equals d. So I'm just going to move that out of the way for the time being. We'll come back to that later on. Um, we last time had a look at finding the parametric equation of a plane. So we found an equation that was in this form here. Um, we used the three points that we knew that were on the plane and um, we found you, we used those points to find two uh, direction vectors, two non-parallel um, direction vectors and that allowed us to write our parametric equation of the plane using a point that was on the plane and the two direction vectors here and here. So we um, are just going to initially think about why it is possible to define a plane just by using its normal and the scalar quantity. So I'm going to take over to Autograph. This is the plane that we've um, looked at last time when we were just looking at the parametric equation. and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a normal to this plane and we're going to have a look at what that looks like graphically so if I just highlight those just to remind you to find the normal um, between to find a vector that's normal to two lines we find the cross product um, of those two lines and, and that will tell us the, the vector that's normal. And because these two lines both lie on the plane then any normal to these two lines will, these two vectors will also be normal to the plane. So if I just find the cross product of those and then we can see that the yellow vector is normal to the purple vector and to the red vector and to the green plane it must be to the green plane. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that that vector has length. So what we want to do is first of all just think about if I had any vector that lies on the plane, so if I was going to draw a vector on the plane somewhere then this yellow vector would have to be normal to it because it is normal to everything that's on the plane. And that idea is, is quite important because this is what's going to allow us to be able to um, generalise our, our plane just using its normal and a scalar quantity. So going back to what we now want to do is in order to write it in this form here we first of all need to know a vector that's going to be normal to the plane. So as we've just seen on autograph, any two vectors that lie on the plane are normal to those vectors would also be normal to the plane. And because we know two vectors that are, that are lying on the plane, um, we could find the cross product of these and that will tell us a vector that's normal to the plane. So we're going to start off by finding the cross product of these two vectors here. So, in order to find the cross product, we are going to have 15 take away which is 7, and that's going to be 5, and this here is going to be negative 2. So this vector here 
is going to be normal to our plane. So we can now write this uh, dot is equal to D. Okay, so what we're saying here is that any general point on the plane if I dotted it with this vector that's normal to the plane I will get a constant value um, which is D so because I already know um, the three points that are on the plane in order to work out what D is I could choose any of these points and I could use these to um, tell me what that scalar quantity D is going to be so I'm going to randomly choose point B and um, I'm going to use point B to work out what D is going to be. So we can say that D is going to be equal to, and I'm going to use point B, which is here, and I'm going to dot that with. Okay, and that is going to give me 35 plus 10, take away 4, which is 41. So, we now know that D is going to be equal to 41. Now remember, I chose 5, 2, 2. This should also work with 4, 5, 6, or 4, 3, 1, or any other point that you happen to find that lies on the plane. And in fact, what you can do to prove this that this works, I'm not going to do this now, but you, you might want to stop the video and try this, is if I write R in the form of, of, and write all of this as a single vector, so my top row, my vector will be 4 plus lambda plus 0. Uh, the second row, my vector would be 3, take away 3 lambda, take away 2 mu, etc. If I dotted that with this normal vector, 7, 5, negative 2 I should still get 41 so it might be an interesting task for you to go away and, and try that anyway so because I now know what D is I can write this in dot product form as equal to 41 and there you go Okay, so that's the equation in the form r dot n equals d. What we're now going to do is we're going to have a look at what the Cartesian equation of a plane is and, and how we can work that out. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. We'll make that a little bit smaller. Let's take that over there. Okay, so because we have worked this part out and I've got a general point dotted with 7, 5, negative 2 is equal to 41. I can use this to find the Cartesian equation of my plane because the general point can be expressed as as x, y, z. So I could write, I don't really write in red. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so x y, z, if I dot that with this here, dot it with the normal, that's going to be equal to 41. And I can rewrite this as 7x plus 5y, take away 2z, is equal to 41 and there you go we've written this in terms of x y and z so this is our Cartesian equation for our plane
okay before we finish what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check and just show that this does actually work so we're going to go back to watercraft and I'm going to down. I'm going to get rid of the normal that we found yes and I'm going to get rid of the plane that's already there and I'll get rid of these two vectors and we'll go back to where we started um, at the start of the previous lesson where we just had three points that happened to lie on our plane so when I put in the equation that we the Cartesian equation that we've just found that should go through those three points so the equation that we found was 7x plus 5y take away to z equals 41 I think and and there you go it does go through all three points so therefore um, we have found the equation of that okay so um, just to recap that we found the parametric equation of a plane and we were able to write the equation in the form r dot n equals d because we worked out the normal using two of our direction vectors that we found previously um, we then dotted that with a point that we knew on our plane and found out that the value of d was going to be 41 so I was able to write it uh, in the form r dotted with the normal is equal to 41 um, and then we used this to work out the Cartesian equation of a plane which we have now written in that form there okay um Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.